Now I've sprayed on some gray primer and I want to talk about primer for a moment. If you will look at this it says filler primer. Now that's very important because there are two types of primer. There is filler primer which auto body use mainly to build up a surface with talcum powder and glue in order to get a smooth surface. That's how come every time you go in a shop all you'll see is you'll see gray dust everywhere. Now the second kind of primer is primer sealer. Now this is important because a lot of people have taken their cars and they have got it down to bare metal and then they take some filler primer and they cover it and they go well that'll keep the rust off. It won't. This primer along with regular metal is just like a sponge. The sponge has thousands of pores in it as you can see just like your skin. Now what happens is the water gets inside these pores and it slowly rusts them out. If you don't believe me take a look at any shipwreck on the bottom of the ocean or any car that's been left out in the rain. Now we have to remember that primer sealer or paint was only developed for one reason. It was not developed to make the car look pretty. It was developed to keep the metal body from rusting. Now Henry Ford started to mass produce cars and they asked him, hey, you know, what color can I get it in? And his famous saying was, you can have any color you want as long as it's black. Because that's all they had back then was black alkaline enamel. It was only used to protect the surface. So if you've got bare metal, just remember, you do not want to use primer filler to seal it. You can use the primer filler to fix your problem and then you put on the paint the paint becomes the sealer but if you're just going to prime a bare spot you need primer sealer not filler because it'll rust right up right up underneath it now what I've done here and if you look at this temperature gauge here it's kind of neat because here we're in America I have no idea what Celsius is it is um, 45 degrees this is not good painting weather at all it you should be up to about I don't know 78 or 80 degrees between I'd say uh, 70 and 90 degrees depending on the humidity but I've used some purple over the primer and over the spot putty as a blocking agent and I'm going to show you what happens as we sand it now we take our, our uh, sandpaper as usual. Remember to become a good painter it takes practice okay you don't have to be Michelangelo you don't have to be Leonardo da Vinci they both started cleaning the paintbrushes okay for some master and they learned how to do this and I'm teaching you how to do it. But what what I'm trying to say is the weather is 45 degrees I put on here a certain amount of primer material plus the aerosol which gets it into a liquid state. Now matter can neither be created nor destroyed according to Einstein's according to the physics we live in. That means that as the primer or as the lacquer thinner or reducer evaporates out of here the paint is always shrinking into that empty space. Now you can get this perfectly smooth come back two days later and block it again and you'll you'll see low spots because it's still drying. Our goal is to get the panel as smooth as possible and to get all the ingredients dry before we paint. So if you run across a frustrating problem where you've blocked it all out, it's in beautiful condition, you go to paint it and two weeks later you see a big halo where you got your spot putty, that's where it's just dried out. But in order to in order to get good at it you have to practice and you have to have fun so what I would suggest is that you put on some good music I would do that but YouTube won't let me do that 
get a beer or whatever. Remember, you go one direction, okay? You don't go in circles, you don't go this way, and you don't, you always go with, hi baby, you always go with the green. Right here. Now, if you look closely at this, I've taken some thousand grit wet sandpaper, and probably um, the best wet sandpaper to, to do your blocking with would probably be uh, 800 wet. That uh, wet, wet takes off a lot. But what I want to show you is this. All right, now we have an edge here and we have an edge here all the way along, okay? Now, right in here is a low spot. You maybe can't see it, but that'll show up in the paint. And that's probably where we have the, the, um, that's probably where we have the putty at. Now, ideally, this should be a solid gray all the way across. Nice and smooth. That's what we use the primer filler right here to fill in these low spots right here. And we use the, um, the blocking color and I don't like to use enamel but that's all I had what you really want to do is go down to your auto parts store and get a can of dupe color that's that's uh, what I've been using it's it's not bad for you know little jobs um, get some black lacquer not enamel and then you you spray it on real light Usually you only want to go like, like this. If you put it on too heavy, then it, it takes too long to get it off. And the reason we, that we use the black against the gray is for contrast. Now right here you can see this is a high spot right here in the primer. This in the, in the center is a low spot, as you can see. And you can see every other little flaw that's here. Now I left this area right here like this for a reason. Before you go to prime or anything else you want to sand all of your surface with 600 or 800 so that you put scratches into the surface so that your primer or paint will, gr will grab a hold in those scratches right there and they will stick to it. Without the scratches what happens is you will go to uh, sand the primer off and that's what happens right there. Now you may get away with just looking at it like this. Okay, After you put the paint on there, the paint is only sticking to the primer which isn't sticking to your work. So that means it can, it can come off, scratch off. So you've got to, you've got to, uh, what the hell are you doing over there you little bastards? Come here kitty, come here. Hey, you want to go play with that pit bull next door? Don't piss on anything. You either. Now back to our thing. So our main goal is to get the panel completely smooth so the paint goes on and reflects the completely smooth panel. It takes practice, okay? Now I have a, I have a thing that I teach my students and my son, how do you win? Practice, practice, practice at whatever you do. You have to have a good teacher like me. And you have to keep practicing. It's not easy, but once you get down to basics, you'll be able to do this in your sleep. And let me tell you one more thing about being a painter, an auto body painter. You never, ever tell your friends, your family, or anyone that you're an auto body painter. Never. And I'll tell you why because all of them have a $6,000 paint job they want you to do for $100. If you don't believe me, start painting and let somebody know you're a painter. They'll all suck up to you and want you to do everything for nothing. So don't tell anyone you know how to paint. Just, just tell them someone else did it. Those are words from advice from uh, painting for 30 years. So now what I'm going to do with this, and this isn't completely dry because of our nice little, where the hell did we go? 
um, 50 degrees. It's not dry. It's going to keep shrinking on me. But I'm making this video to show you how it's done. Okay, we'll go to part two.